every other nationality, that's better than that, yeah. Every other nationality, what would you say? Donkey. 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 So who's right, the kids or me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking from seven downwards. <laughs> and I'm still saying donkey. <laughs> Um, my name is Mags, as I was introduced by my, um, she's not my co-worker or anything like that, she's over me, so <laughs> I better behave. <laughs> um, I came to England uh, about 26 years ago. Now, I know I only look 26, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a lot, I'm a lot older. Um, I really felt when that lady spoke, because I had no intention of sharing this, but I actually did work in cancer support. I worked for two years, so we went to different houses, and um, this is funny as well, um, I went into the policeman's house, and I said to him, uh, just will you do me a favor and just put your hands up, so he did, and he said, what are you saying that for? I said, that is the first time I've ever arrested a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> so to tell you my story, um, I'm a bit of a comic, but I'm the clown that goes to the doctor, and he says, I'm really, really down. And he, the doctor says, go to the circus and see that clown that's in the circus and the man just turned around and he said what do you think he said come on don't let me down win <laughs> i i am that clown so he i don't think he understood did he you didn't understand that oh god <laughs> there is no do you want, yeah, you're there. I haven't talked about that there. <laughs> right, let me tell you it again. Clown, yeah? Yes. Funny, haha. Like we all are. <laughs> I'm going to be a comedian. So, um, he was really down. So he goes to the doctor. And the doctor, he said to the doctor, I feel so down, I feel so depressed. And the doctor said, well, go to the circus, get yourself off, and see that clown, because he is funny, ha ha. Mm -hmm. And the clown turned around. You have it, haven't you? Yeah. 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 That's another tenor. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I wrote down things I was going to say, and I've said nothing yet. <laughs> um, I, I, I'd just like to say a few things about myself. I, I suffer from depression, I think, from the time I came out of my mother's womb. I was up, I was down, I was up, I was down. My highs annoyed people, and then my lows, and I peed because they just didn't know what to do. And I didn't know what to do. And I'm sure other people feel the same way. And I don't know where I am now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I too held a full-time job down. Um, well, I suppose you couldn't call it full-time. I, I worked four days a week and I, <laughs> I'm a musician, you'd never think it. I didn't bring anything. We could have had a session, but I didn't bring anything with me. Um, and I have taught music, and I've played music in schools on my day off. Can you still hear me down there? Because I can start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I am. Um, I was a musician, and not only that, I played in weddings, funerals, um, you name it, I played. Um, and uh, a lot, I've got a lot of memories 
I mean, if you want to stay at this time tomorrow, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'd have loads to tell you. <coughs> but then I came to England, and I'm not blaming England, but it was bang. <laughs> and I mean, bang. I went up to BRI, and I just said to them, look, if you, don't, if you really don't do something, I'm going to do something. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, and this life is too hard. I can't, I just could not call. <coughs> and just to say to you, my mother suffered the same way. So really, if I got a bummer, and now I understand the hell that she went through because it's it really hell. Um, so I was sent to Harrogate, uh, a private hospital, mind you. <laughs> uh, cost the NHS a lot of money. And, um, but they treated me fabulously. They, um, they helped me, they encouraged, they changed my way of thinking. There's, there's so much more. And if anybody can add to what I'm saying, please don't hesitate because we're all here to help each other. I'm not, all, I'm not saying we're all bipolar, we'd be in the right mess, wouldn't we? <laughs> so <laughs> it's to, I'm trying to make it in a way to, I, I've always made it light, you know, make light of it, but Inside, um, you're falling apart. Um, the least little thing hurts. The least little thing that somebody says hurts. And it's, I don't know, I find it hard to explain, but I will say one thing that I've always had was I was ashamed. I was totally ashamed of the bipolar and of me having it. <coughs> now you're all going to start my fat home. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I actually stayed six months in Harrogate. It was like a holiday, really. But they were excellent. I met fabulous friends and there was actually a girl there that sang and played piano so i had my guitar so we used to have sessions without beer so we just played away everywhere um when i came out of um harrogate i was starting to be physically ill and i did have to go for an operation so there was two ladies on the ward who talked about bipolar with me and it was it was uplifting it helped it helped you know it helped every day and it helped me get through the day um then i went to sharing voices um a friend of mine who's a very dear friend still i mean we take the out of each other really and truly but she brought me to share in voices and it's the best thing that ever happened to me they well I was welcome um, mind you I'm I'm there five years I think and I don't know if they're going to throw me out someday <laughs> <laughs> get rid of her and make space for somebody else <laughs> yeah I forgot to mention when when I, I'm not bragging, but I'm just trying to think. You know, that lady said, you know, do. And, but when I was in hospital, I made a promise that I would I'd write a poem, and I'd get that poem made into a bookmark. Uh, I got a thousand um, published, and I sold a thousand. And I keep saying to myself. Why don't I do that again? 
you know, they still have to play it, you know. But it's when you're in situations like this, I could have, could have made a hundred over a hundred quid, couldn't I? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like thirty a pound each. <laughs> but it's just to say, let you know that that there's so much we can do that we don't know that we can do. Yeah? You agree with that? I'm nearly finished, don't worry. I've only got these three pairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a friend, and I don't mind mentioning her name, uh, Marion, she brought me to share in voices. And I, I, can't, I grew, not in height, but I grew. <laughs> I've been this since I was 14. Uh, uh, I got involved with Cherry and Voices and I've been the longest member. I should be finished really because I'm at the end of the page. <laughs> <laughs> um, so really in my heart I, I, I would say don't be ashamed of <coughs> the bipolar or depression because there are so many people out there suffering like we are. I'm, am I the only one that's bipolar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in my heart, I really want to thank Sharing Voices. People along the way, I want to finish, you'd be glad, with a little uh, piece. I've got a box back home I got as a present. And then, um, I put little pieces of positive notes into it and this was a note that I actually got from a, woman, a person and I want to share it with you and I'm going to say thank you for helping me because I've never got up and spoke, I, I play it for hours but to get up and speak, uh, sharing voices have implemented that. Oh God, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> so what it says is, thank you for helping me discover the hero inside. And then this is for all of you, on the journey to discover yours. Okay.